Okay, so there are a lot of videos on YouTube about noise reduction for Photoshop. How to reduce noise in Photoshop, noise reduction in Photoshop, how to get rid of noise in Photoshop. A lot of these are great videos, but they all have one thing in common. Too many damn steps. I don't know about you, but I don't want to sit there for 10 minutes clicking buttons and dragging sliders just to end up with a relatively noise-free image that has way less detail than the one I started with. I've got a better way. Don't go away. Hi, I'm Barry Callister of Photographer's Freedom, taking you from beginner to better to business. Here on my YouTube channel and over at photographersfreedom.com, you will find photography tutorials, for the Nikon D5200 and other similar Nikon DSLR cameras, camera gear reviews and photography business advice, all of this aimed to help you no matter where you are in your photography journey. If you like the sound of that, you probably should subscribe and ding that notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video. Right now, let's take a look at a noise reduction plugin for Photoshop and Lightroom Classic that can remove the noise from your images with just a couple of clicks. I have this image here of a superb fairy wren that I took way back in January of 2015. This was taken with a Nikon D5200, a 55 to 200 millimeter kit lens and an ISO of 12,800. And just look at all that grain. It's ruining what could have been a really nice image. Let's try and remove all that noise, shall we? Firstly, I'm going to attempt to do it using the reduce noise filter here in Photoshop. I'm going to then put that on a separate layer and then I'm going to blow your mind. On a new layer, I will use a noise reduction plugin for Photoshop called Topaz Denoise AI. And you will see that with just a few clicks, all the noise will be gone and most of the detail will remain. Let's do this. I'll just zoom out on the image here. First thing I'll do is duplicate the background layer so I'm not working on the original. Now in most of the YouTube videos, the first thing they will do is apply the reduce noise filter from the filters menu. So I will select that. And I'll play around with the sliders a bit here and show you the results. I'll just zoom in on our image here if my computer will catch up. So we can see the results there, just zoom in a little bit more. So that is with the slider cranked all the way up to 10. You can see it has made a bit of a difference. If I turn the preview off, it's made a fair difference to the amount of noise in this image, but we still have quite a lot there. So um, if I, the preserve details slider, we don't need to play with because that brings back noise, obviously, because it's trying to preserve some of the detail. So we can leave that off. The reduced color noise is not going to make a difference because as I said, there is no color noise in this image. The sharpened details is going to do a similar thing to preserve details. It's going to create all these weird JPEG artifacts in there, which we don't want. If I crank it right up, you'll see all these strange little digital worms <laughs> that are JPEG artifacts. So I've got, you can see down here, I've got remove JPEG artifact ticked because this is a JPEG image that we're working with. So I'll just click okay on that with that up on the strength of 10 and let it do its work and then i'll turn off that layer you can see the before and the after or after so it's made a made a bit of a dent in it but we still have a lot of noise the next thing most other youtube videos will tell you to do is to duplicate that layer and then apply a surface blur to this layer what surface blur does is it blurs out the remaining noise and is supposed to make your image look nice and noise free. So I'll go up to the filters menu up here again, down to blur and all the way down the bottom you find a surface blur. So we can see the values here of 9 and 16 do quite a good job of removing the noise but they do make our image look really strange. 
if I play around with it a bit, if I turn the radius up, that's just going to start bringing back noise in areas like this and it, it looks quite horrible. So, and if I up the threshold, that is going to remove more of the noise, but it's completely blurring out our image and we don't really want that. So you just have to find a kind of a, a balance here. But as you can see, this is a really laborious process. <laughs> I will just leave it at a threshold of uh, 15 and I'll click OK. The next thing most YouTube videos are going to tell you to do is to then apply sharpening to this layer. So we go up to the filter and sharpen and smart sharpen and you try and bring back detail that just isn't there because the surface blur has blurred it out. So it's it's just not going to really help, but we'll do a little bit of it. I'll just click OK on that. But to be quite honest, this is just making our image look absolutely terrible. So what I'll do is I'll group those layers there, Control G, group them together. So this is the before image. This is the after with our Photoshop reduce noise filter. Now I'm going to blow your mind. What I'm going to do here is I'll duplicate this layer. I'll drag that up to the top so we can see that on the top. I'll just zoom in a bit here. Now all I have to do is go up to the filters menu down to Topaz Labs Denoise AI. We will click in there. When it opens up, all I have to do is click this button here that says severe noise and just watch the magic. In just a few seconds, nice noise free image. This is before, this is after. Hit the like button if your mind was just blown. We have a nice noise free image with the details intact. That's that's our Photoshop version. That's Topaz Denoise. Photoshop, Topaz Denoise. Topaz Denoise AI is not a free noise reduction plugin for Photoshop, but the best thing about it is, it's not a subscription. Hallelujah. Who else here is sick of subscriptions? There's a link in the video description where you can download Denoise AI for $79.99 US. If you're not convinced by what I've shown you here, then you can download a trial version to use free for 30 days. I don't have anything else to say. I'm going to leave you to try out Topaz Denoise AI for yourself. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, please hit the subscribe button and ding the notification bell. Until next time, I'm Barry Callister of Photographer's Freedom. Get out there, take some wicked shots. I'll see you soon.